video, let's go through the cross elasticity of demand. So we measure the influence of a change in price of a substitute or complement by using the concept of the cross elasticity of demand. So the formula for the cross elasticity of demand is pretty much the percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change of, in the price of a substitute or complement. So pretty much in layman, layman's terms, we use the cross elasticity of demand to see how the quantity demanded of a certain good changes with respect to a price change in a substitute or a complement. So the, quant the cross elasticity of demand can be positive or negative, and if it's positive, then it's a substitute, and if it's negative, then it's a complement. And we're going to do a short example to uh, show us what this really means. So here we're going to use the example of pizza, and we're going to take uh, burgers as its arch nemesis. So let's take the let's take the event in which the there's an increase in quantity demanded of pizza when the price of burgers, uh, which is a substitute of pizza, rises. So then in this graph, which is a graph of the quantity of pizza versus the price of pizza, well it will change to uh, it will change to like um, this. So it will it will go here. the 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 quantity of pizza the the quantity demanded of pizza will rise so then so then the demand curve will pretty much shift to the right and we will have our new d1 demand curve this is because well, we have a burger and the burger is a good substitute of pizza. So when the price of the burger rises, it's pretty much making the pizza stand out more in terms of its uh, cheapness. So in, when, in the perspective of the public, they would most likely buy a pizza because the pizza with respect to the price of the burger is cheaper. So then the quantity demanded of the pizza is, is rising in this case. Now let's look in, at the event in which uh, the price of a soft drink, which is a complement, rises. So let's just find the right color here. I think that's dark blue. And we'll just do our curve. So yeah, that's not a very nice curve, but you get the idea. So let's just finish this up and We'll call it a day. So in the case of a complement, there will be a decrease in quantity demanded of pizza when the price of a soft drink, which is a complement, rises. So DO actually drops to this new point called D2. This is because, well, when we have pizza, we usually want a drink with that, right? So if the, if the cost of the drink rises, then in that case, that must mean like the whole meal, the whole combo of the pizza and the soft drink also rises. So that is what makes the quantity demanded of the pizza fall. And uh, I guess we could put a little note here that the price of burger, price of burger, uh, which is a substitute, 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 rises. And this, in this case, it's a positive, positive, positive cross elasticity, cross elasticity. Sorry for the messy writing, trying to make this video short. And in this case, in this case, it's uh, the price of a soft drink, soft drink price of the soft drink uh, a complement complement rises and there is a negative a negative cross elasticity so now you know the the basics of cross elasticity and uh, what it is used for uh, in the next video, we'll probably talk more about substitutes and complements, but uh, that is for the next video. 
please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.